today's electrical transmission system which include those giant power lines and transmission tower that can usually be seen in an expressway is operates like a system of interconnected streams. Power flows through the transmission system along the path of least resistance, finding multiple paths between the power plants and the cities that are demanding the power. Today's grid operators have a very little control over the system. Their primary task is to make sure that as much power is being generated as is being used and if it fails its task, the grid's voltage could drop, causing the grid to become unstable. Grid operators generally know which lines are in service and when relays have opened to protect lines against faults, but they have limited control capabilities. Unfortunately, power can leak within the grid, developing oscillations that could lead to widespread power interruption. Grid operators also have limited information about how the power is flowing through the grid. The smart grid will help solve this problem by adding new capabilities for measurement and control of the transmission system. These technologies will make the grid much more reliable and will minimize the possibility of widespread power interruption. Phaser measurement unit is a device used to estimate the magnitude and phase angle of an electrical phaser quantity, such as voltage or current in the electric grid using a common time source for synchronization. Time synchronization is usually provided by GPS and allows synchronized real-time measurements of multiple remote points on the grid. Phaser measurement units are capable of capturing samples from a waveform in quick succession and reconstructing the phaser quantity, made up of an angle measurement and a magnitude measurement. The resulting measurement is known as a synchrophaser. These time-synchronized measurements are important because if the grid's supply and demand are not perfectly matched, frequency imbalances can cause stress on the grid, which is a potential cause for power outages. Phaser measurement units is an essential component of smart grids. Since it provides synchro-phaser data, it also reports magnitude, phase, and frequency of an AC waveform. Phaser measurement unit makes the grid observable due to high reporting rates and with this technology preventive actions can be taken such as blackouts. What is synchrophaser? A synchrophaser is a phaser measurement with respect to an absolute time reference. With this measurement we can determine the absolute phase relationship between phase quantities at different locations on the power system. This is the block diagram of phaser measurement unit. Analog input Current and potential transformers are employed at substation for measurement of voltage and current. The analog inputs to the PMU are the voltages and currents obtained from the secondary winding of potential and current transformers. Anti-aliasing filter Anti-aliasing filter is an analog low-pass filter which is used to filter out those components from the actual signal whose frequencies are greater than or equal to half of Nyquist rate to get the sampled waveform. Nyquist rate is equal to twice the highest frequency component of input analog signal. If anti-aliasing filters are not used, error will be introduced in the estimated phaser. Phase lock oscillator Phase lock oscillator along with global positioning system reference source provides the needed high-speed synchronized sampling. Global positioning system, GPS, is a satellite-based system for providing position and time. AD converter it converts the analog signal to the digital signal. Quantization of the input involves an ADC that introduces a small amount of error. The output of ADC is a sequence of digital values that convert a continuous time and amplitude analog signal to a discrete time and discrete amplitude signal. Processor The microprocessor calculates positive sequence estimates of all the current and voltage signals using the DFT techniques. Certain other estimates of interest are frequency and rate of change of frequency measured locally, and these also are included in the output of the PMU. Modem A device that modulates an analog carrier signal and encodes digital information from the signal and can also demodulate the signal to decode the transmitted information from signal is called modem. The objective of modem is to produce a signal that can be transmitted and decoded to make a replica of the original digital data. Application of PMU in Power System Adaptive Relaying Adaptive relaying is a protection philosophy which permits and seeks to make adjustments in various protection functions in order to make them more tuned to prevailing power system conditions. Instability Prediction The instability prediction can be used to adapt load shedding and slash or out-of-step relays. 
we can actually monitor the progress of transient in real time by the technique of synchronized phasor measurements. State Estimation The state estimator uses various measurements received from different substations, and, through an iterative nonlinear estimation procedure, calculates the power system state. By maintaining a continuous stream of phasor data from the substations to the control center, a state vector that can follow the system dynamics can be constructed. For the first time in history, synchronized phasor measurements have made possible the direct observation of system oscillations following system disturbances. Improve control. Power system control elements use local feedback to achieve the control objective. The PMU was necessary to capture data during the staged testing and accurately display this data and provide comparisons to the system model. The shown figure shows a typical example of one of the output plots from the PMU data. Fault recording. They can capture and display actual 60 50th Hz waveform and magnitude data on individual channels during power system fault conditions. Disturbance recording. Loss of generation, loss of load, or loss of major transmission lines may lead to a power system disturbance, possibly affecting customers and power system operations. Transmission and Generation Modeling Verification Computerized power system modeling and studies are now the normal and accepted ways of ensuring that power system parameters have been reviewed before large capital expenditures on major system changes. In years past, actual verification of computer models via field tests would have been either impractical or even impossible. The PMU class of monitoring equipment can now provide the field verification required. The shown figure compares a remote substation 500 kV bus voltage captured by the PMU to the stability program results. Wide Area Protection The introduction of the Phaser Measurement Unit, PMU, has greatly improved the observability of the power system dynamics. Based on PMUs, different kinds of wide area protection, emergency control and optimization systems can be designed. Fault Location a fault location algorithm based on synchronized sampling. A time domain model of a transmission line is used as a basis for the algorithm development. Samples of voltages and currents at the ends of a transmission line are taken simultaneously, synchronized, and used to calculate fault location. Phaser measurement units are installed at both ends of the transmission line. The three-phase voltages and three-phase currents are measured by PMUs located at both ends of line simultaneously. That's all, thank you for watching.